Hey guys, what's up? My name's Whitney. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Sometimes I talk about my very serious disease, which is cystic fibrosis, and that's what I'm going to be talking about today. I'm feeling a little bit of disappointment, actually a lot, so I feel like this was therapeutic to talk to you guys, so continue watching. To catch you guys up, earlier this year, I was hospitalized due to liver issues and we didn't really know the cause. I was thinking it could be from Simdaco, which is this major drug for CF. And anyways, I quit that drug immediately when I had liver issues because you're not supposed to take it if you have high liver enzymes. Mine were in the 600s and I had I was hospitalized. I had to wait till it evened out and a few months later I restarted it. And last week I had the worst stomach pain ever in my life. It was crippling. I couldn't breathe. It was hurting so bad. I couldn't walk. And I knew this pain like no other because it was the same pain that I had when I was hospitalized for my liver. Honestly, I needed to go to the hospital, but I grinned and bared it all night because it was storming. And I went into the hospital that next morning. I had my liver test and in fact it was my liver again. I immediately had to stop Simdaco and I'm still recovering from it. I can't really be on my feet too much or else my stomach swells really bad because all of my insides are swollen. My liver is like uh like really really enlarged and uh so I've been feeling pretty bad because I had to stop my Simdaco again. I'm having like withdrawal symptoms and then I'm also dealing from healing from having severe liver problems but anyways I was like okay I can't take my Simdaco which is already disappointing enough um, with cystic fibrosis a few years ago these there were several drugs that came out that was so promising it's Coladico or can be Simdaco and yesterday on my birthday there was a new drug that was FDA approved and it is the best drug out there for CF that everyone has been so excited about. It's the triple combination and each of these specific drugs are only for specific genes. All of us cystics have different genes of cystic fibrosis and um, I wasn't able to take Kaladico because I didn't have that gene but I was able to take Orcami. That didn't work out for me. The Simdaco didn't work out for me and this drug it's for my specific gene and it can help 90% of patients with, with CF. These specific drugs, all four of these, are designed to stop damage in our tracts to our lungs and it's supposed to give us extra years to our life so that we can you know have a family get married have a future and yesterday on my birthday it was really bittersweet to find out that I can't take this drug and the reason why I can't take Trikafta is because these type of drugs all of them say in the side effects that um, it can raise your liver enzyme level and knowing that I have liver issues, I've had them in the past but I went ahead and started this drug anyway and I guess that's why my body isn't able to take it is because this drug it is filtered through the liver and unfortunately I can't take it. This new promising drug that can help 90% of patients that can give us extra years, I can't take it so it's been like really disappointing. Because, yes, I'm pretty healthy and I'm so blessed, guys. I'm not dying. I'm able to get out there and live. But I, to not be able to take this promising drug that could stop the damage where it's at on my lungs is devastating. Because we all want to be the best we can be and live as long as we can. And so it's disappointing, it's bittersweet, like I'm so thankful of how healthy I am and I'm so happy for my fellow CF community, they're excited about this drug and they can take it. I'm so happy for them, I hope they can benefit from it. There are a lot of people that are worse off than me and that they get to take this drug and feel healthy and so yeah, it's super disappointing. I've been down because I can't take my Simdaco 
and I also can't take this new drug either but I do have to realize that I am blessed where I am there are a lot of people who have it worse off than me but it doesn't help me from being disappointed you know I do know that I will get through this guys and that maybe one day there will be a cure maybe there will be a drug that will come out that I can take and that it will make me so healthy and you know I gotta keep on the positive side that I need to believe in myself and believe that there will be a cure and I, I'm also truly happy for those who can benefit from these I truly am and this isn't a video of just complaining it's just you know it's disappointing but I'm also excited for my friends too um, I felt like it was kind of therapeutic to talk about how I'm feeling because I know that there is other people out there who feel disappointment when it comes to their health or maybe there's another person with CF who can't take these drugs and that they see all their friends excited about it and they can't take it. Alright guys, I'm okay. I composed myself and I'm going to get through this. I just want to talk about it so that I can feel better and move on with my life. So. I, I want to be open and honest with you. I want to educate you about my disease because it is pretty rare. And I also want to be a role model to people who do have CF. And that's someone that they can look up to. And that they can be like, hey, I, there is someone that I watch that goes through the same thing I go through every day. Anyways, guys, I love you. Thank you so much for the support. I really do appreciate you so much. And... And the next video is going to be a candle haul video, so that makes me happy. <sighs> Love you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.